Hello, my name is Jason Chanko, and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager at Siglin Technologies America. As many of you are aware, oscilloscopes are useful tools for measuring the condition of a component or the response of a circuit. They're there to measure the output of a particular device or circuit element. But there are also tools to help simulate inputs to a device or circuit, the most common being the waveform or function generator. In this case, the generator creates a signal that we can use to test various inputs to a design. For example, we could emulate a clock signal or closing a relay by using an arbitrary waveform generator. Siglent's SDG series of arbitrary waveform generators are ideal for sourcing standard waveforms like sine, square, ramp, and pulsed waveforms, but some models have features that are more suited to particularly sticky test or application requirement. In this video, we're going to go over the, each member of the SDG family and some of the features that separate them. Here we've got the SDG 2000X series, which is one of our newer families of, uh, of generators, and we're connected up to an oscilloscope doing a fairly simple uh, AM modulation on two channel outputs. Um, and now we'll take a look at a chart that's going to give a, a brief overview of each of our SDG family members' qualities. They all have standard sine, square, ramp, pulse, and noise waveforms, as well as internal modulation types including AM, FM, PM, FSK, ASK, and pulse width modulation, or PWM. We also have external modulation capabilities through a BNC output located on the back of each unit. And we've got sweep and burst functions, frequency counter with a 10 MHz external clock input for synchronization with other instrumentation. Easy Wave Arbitrary Waveform Editing Software for use on your PC, and USB Remote Computer Control. Now let's take a closer look at each series. The SDG800 series is our basic education application instrument, and that is going to be a single channel unit, so it only has one output ca uh, capable of uh, arbitrary waveform outputs as well as any of the standard basic functions. That's available in 5, 10, and 30 megahertz models. As well, it has internal external modulation, burst, and sweep. It's a very basic generator, um, very similar in form factor to the SDG 2000X that I had shown earlier, uh, just single, single channel and lower frequency. Now we move up to the SDG 1000 series. Again, this is more for basic, uh, basic applications requiring a standard waveform or standard function. Um, but this case we have a dual channel. Again, uh, channel 2 is limited in this case. It's not going to have the same output capabilities, especially voltage output capabilities as the channel 1. But if you do have limited functionality uh, requirements, you, you can use this as a, tr as a dual channel instrument. It's available in 10, 25, and 50 megahertz models. And it has internal and external modulation, burst, and sweep capability. Uh, now let's move to the 1000X series, which is one of our newer platforms here. And that's going to be more of a high frequency square or pulse wave application uh, focus. And that's primarily, uh, this is a true dual channel instrument, so both channels are identical as far as their output and function capabilities. We have 30 and 60 megahertz models, and really where this instrument stands out is the square max frequency is identical to the sine max frequency. And what that means, instead of being limited, um, in some case, let's say the 30 megahertz model here, um, if we had a 30 megahertz model, that's typically going to tell you that your sine wave is going to be available at 30 megahertz. In the case of the SDG 1000X, the sine and the square wave are both pushed to maximum. So you have 30 megahertz sine wave maximum and 30 megahertz square wave maximum. So that can be helpful if you are going to be doing pulsing or high frequency square waves. The SDG 2000X series, that is going to be uh, really it's it's key features are going to be that high, uh, high accuracy voltage requirement or custom arbitrary waveforms. This really is a, a very flexible arbitrary waveform generator. Um, it does have true dual channel as well as a touch screen display. So both of those channels are going to have the full capability uh, as far as the memory depth and the voltage output capability. Now the touch screen makes it very nice it's from the front panel to be able to quickly change between functions or, or transfer data from one channel to the next. Um, this is available in 40, 80, and 120 megahertz models, and all of those feature a 16-bit vertical resolution. Almost every other arbitrary waveform generator on the market is going to be 14-bit, so this is going to provide you another level of, uh, of vertical resolution if you need to have very fine control over the voltage output 
of your arbitrary waveform. Uh, the arbitrary waveforms are also quite flexible in this case. They can range anywhere from eight up to eight million points and you can select any one of those values. That's using the true ARB technology. The sample rates can also be adjusted from one micro to 1.2 giga samples per second. So you can actually have a lot of very good control over the arbitrary waveform output capability, um, exactly how the output looks and its repeatability are going to be very consistent with the SDG2000X. So again, if you're going to be doing custom arbitrary waveforms, uh, I would lean towards the SDG2000 series. And finally, we've got the SDG5000 series, and its claim to fame really is going to be its floating inputs, uh, or floating outputs, for use with in sensors or circuits that require floating connections. Uh, so. Really, this is avail available in 80, 120, and 160 megahertz models, and the floating uh, up to 42 volts uh, dual channel output. So that's really, really where it comes in uh, into its own. Is if you do have a requirement, especially if you're using circuits that have sensors that are floating, you can emulate that sensor using the SDG5000 inputs, or rather outputs. Sorry. Um, so really, the best overall value is going to be that SDG2000 series, uh, primarily because of its flexibility. Again, you can select a large number of data point sizes for every arbitrary waveform, actually between 8 and 8 million points. And again, you can adjust that sample rate output. Uh, really uh, quite a flexible instrument. Thank you.